Hello, my name is HKH191 and in today's video I'll be showing you all the mods I've been working on over the last two months. These are the mods for the December mod list which can be found exclusive, exclusively on my Discord for the month of December of 2020. After December of 2020 these mods will be uploaded periodically to 5mobs web website. So if you're watching this video in December 2020 the only, the only way to get these mods is to come to my Discord. So I'm going to show you how to, how to get these mods now. The first thing I want to do is click on the link, is click on the link in, in the description for my Discord channel. Once you're there, you want to come down all the way and go to December Mods Sign Up. You want to put your name down. You want, you want to put your name down like so. As soon as you do that, I'll, I'll be checking regularly to see if there are any other new people that want to try out. When, when, you, when you put your name down, after a couple of hours, you'll be given the role of beta tester. Once you've, once you've gotten that role, you can th then go to December Mods and, and download any of the mods that are here. When you've, when you've downloaded these mods, please click on the trophy icon to show that you've downloaded it. It just tells me who's downloaded it so that I can notify them of an update if something, if a large bug is, is found in the mod. So let's jump straight back into Grand Theft Auto and I can show you the mods in there. The first mod we have is called the Active Camo Script, which allows the player to cloak and become invisible. To activate this mod, all you have to do is press Shift X. As you can see, I'm fully invisible, and I've got a detection meter on my on the on the bottom right. This detection meter will start filling up if you sprint, like so. It'll only fill up if there are peds nearby. It'll fill up more if there are more peds nearby. It'll also fill up if you ragdoll or if you shoot a gun. With shooting a gun. It'll fill up faster if you're using a non-science gun, whereas if you're using a science gun, it'll fill up slower. As you can see, my, clo my cloak hood was disabled. That's because I reached 100% detection. This feature can be disabled via the, the mod's in-game INI that is supplied with the mod. When, you're clo when, you're, when you reach 100% detection, you'll no longer be able to cloak until a certain period of time. As you can see that in the top right, I, can't, I cannot cloak for about a minute and 50 seconds. The next mod I'd like to showcase is called the Flamethrower script. With this script, it transforms the Widowmaker into a flamethrower. With this mod, you will need the Arena War update to have access to the Widowmaker. All you have to do is equip the Widowmaker and then hold down the fire button to set peds, vehicles and other stuff on fire. The next mod I'd like to showcase is called the Replace Personal Vehicle mod. With this mod, you can replace any of the three main protagonists' cars and their bike or quad bike. So let's start, let's, so let's start with this car. We can replace Franklin's Buffalo with another vehicle. To do this, all we have to do is press F7 and a menu will open up. The button, to, the button to open this menu can also be changed via the mod's INI file. First thing you want to do is set replace player car to false. Then enter the, enter the player's personal vehicle and set this vehicle as set player original car. You get a message saying for whatever, for whatever player you are, saved, vehicle, saved current vehicle as 
your player's name, original vehicle. Then what you want to do is find or spawn the vehicle that you want to replace their car with. So I'm going to use this Porsche. Then what you want to do is press F7 again and go set player replace car. You get a similar message. Now all you have to do is exit out of the vehicle, make sure to remove it if you want to and then hit replace player car and set it to true. As you can see Franklin's vehicle is replaced with the Porsche and that's basically all the things you need to do to get the mod working. You can do, you can do this for Franklin's car, Michael's car, Trevor's car, Franklin's bike and Trevor's quad bike. The next mod I like to showcase is called Roaming Bosses. As you can see on my mini map on the, bo on the bottom left there is a red skull icon on my map. There is a boss nearby. The bosses in are indicated by red skull icons which, when you which are invisible on the map if you're not close enough and become visible when you get close enough. As you can clearly see directly in front of me there is, there is a large blue circle with a ped walking around. Let's get a little bit closer and see what it is. This is one of the bosses that's walking around. As you can see, it has an attack ability which is teleport and we can see its health and armor. To start the boss fight, simply walk up to it and press E. You'll see it play a little animation and then you'll be teleported a random distance away from it so that it doesn't instantly kill you. Each of the bosses has a different ability, whether it be cloaking, teleportation, explosive ammo or other, or other cool features. It is highly recommended to play with your minimap off when versing these bosses as it'll, give you a more, as it'll give you a more challenging experience. As you can see by, as you can see by my minimap, you can see where the boss is going to be. Each boss will be either a little bit easier or harder, depending on your level of skill. This boss is meant to be the easiest as of the lot, and there are a lot harder bosses out there. Do be prepared for long fights, as they have quite a lot of health. When a boss is defeated, you'll get a message saying it's, that it's defeated. If you want to reverse a boss, you'll have to you'll have to reload the mod for it to be to for it to spawn again. The next mod I'd like to showcase is called Sandro's Weapon Pickups. This mod was requested by the Discord user Satir. This mod adds a total of around 80, 80 or more new pickups to the map, including Mark II weapons, more more Molotovs, more armor and more other weapons, including miniguns, the sci-fi weapons added in the Arena War update and more. 
As you can see, there's a weapon here, which is just which is just a gas gas canister. This mod comes with an INI file, which you can customize to show random colored blips, show blips when near, show blips all the time, and show no blips. As you can see, there's another weapon up here, so let's go to see if we can find it. We found a sticky bomb up here, which you can collect. Now, if a, if a, if you already have the max ammo for a weapon, you won't be able to collect it. So that's 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 why back there I wasn't able to collect the gas canister. There's another weapon up here, so let's see what it is. Looks like it's a minigun. There are plenty of hidden weapons all around the map, from in the ocean to high buildings to hidden little spots to, to everywhere around the map. So good, ha so have a little fun trying to find every single one. Good luck. The next mod I'd like to showcase is called Throwable Melee Weapons Mod. This mod was inspired by the Throwing Knives mod by Jedi Josh. But with this mod, you not only can throw the knife, you can throw a hammer, an antique cavalry dagger, a, a hatchet, a machete, a switchblade, a battle axe, and a stone hatchet. So here's how you use the mod. All you have to do is select one of these weapons and press G on your keyboard. This can also be changed in the, in the mod's INI file supplied. Then you'll get this little pop-up, and all you have to do is click to throw the weapon. To switch back to a normal melee weapon, press G or again. You can do this as long as you want. When you're, when you're actually trying to throw a weapon, you can't actually switch weapons. So you will need to press G to go back. See, you can't, see, I'm trying to switch weapons, but I can't. So what we want to do is switch back, and that is the gist of the mod. The next mod I'd like to showcase is called Mule Car Carrier. This mod allows the mule to be used as a car carrier. All you have to do to get this mod working is spawn in the Mule 2. It has to be this one because this is the only mule that has an actual ramp, and not two doors. To, to load a car into the back, all you have to do is spawn in another vehicle. You'll be prompted to open the mule's ramp. Now, there are two markers here. I put two markers in. For the first one is if you want to, if you if you straight up just want to attach it from here, or or the, or the one inside, if you want to. You can use the first marker if the if the mule's ramp is being a bit buggy. When in the mule, you can choose to detach or close the ramp. If at any time you want to unload the mule, simply stop the vehicle and press Q to open the ramp and then press E to detach it. And that's basically the gist of the mod. The next mod I'd like to showcase is called Lock Vehicle and Trailer. This allows you to use the Big Goods Trailer as another car carrier, like the Mule, but except with a Big Goods Trailer, you can carry two vehicles instead of one. So let's so let's see how this works. For this, you need to spawn a Big Goods Trailer. This can be found in Industrial and Services Trailers and it's commercial trailer with graphics 2 or you can spawn it by its direct name which is trailer S3 now you'll notice a marker here the first thing you want to do is open the menu you'll have four options lower ramp load vehicle 1 load vehicle 2 and flip trailer right side up 
At, 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 at any time, if the trailer flips, you can use Flip Trailer Right Setup to reorientate the trailer. You'll notice that Load Vehicle 1 and Load Vehicle 2 are greyed out. This is because you need to lower the ramp before you can actually load in a vehicle. So let's lower the ramp. You'll notice that Load Vehicle 2 is still greyed out. That's because you need to load Vehicle 1 before you can load Vehicle 2. There will be another red red marker spawn. This is this will be where you put your vehicle in to be loaded into the trailer. So let's do that. Simply lead, leave a vehicle in the red marker to be loaded in. It doesn't matter what direction you face the vehicle in. The script will automatically face and reorientate the vehicle towards the trailer. Simply hit load vehicle 1 to load into the trailer. Now all you have to do is hold the accelerate or W key to drive your vehicle into the trailer. As you can see the vehicle has been loaded in. If you go back to the marker you'll notice that now you can either unload vehicle 1 or load vehicle 2. You can raise the ramp and, and move from there but I'm going to load another vehicle. Again, leave the vehicle, leave the vehicle in the red marker and walk back to the menu marker. It doesn't matter if you leave the vehicle off-centered or with the doors open. The script will compensate for all of that. Select load vehicle 2 to load the next vehicle in. As you can see, the vehicle is reorientated to the correct position and all you need to do is drive the vehicle in. Now that you've got both vehicles in, you can choose to raise the ramp or unload vehicle 2. You can't, load, you can't unload vehicle 1 without unloading vehicle 2. Now, if you want to unload vehicle 2 and, and the ramp is up, all you need to do is lower the ramp down and re-enter the menu. Now you can unload vehicle 2 and then vehicle 1 if you wanted to. Thank you for watching, please like, like and subscribe. And if you want to download the, download the mods, please come to my Discord. If you also need help, it is better to contact me from my Discord. Thank you.